Okay, we're working on an excellent six minute average. So we're going to say these introductory bits are going to be six minutes rather than five because you all have been doing perfect six minutes. Uh, Phil isn't kidding when he said that trip we took on the Upper Swanee. I had never seen anything as wonderful like that. Every tree was calling my name until we got to the Hawthorne limestone uh, formation. And, and then we're all looking at these beautiful rocks along the side. It, it just was incredible. And you know, I was tired of being there. Didn't have to go to the gym that day. No, no, I didn't have to go to the gym that day. Um, so you've heard that we're the Swanee Riverkeeper. Swanee Riverkeeper actually is a staff position. There's a person who is the Swanee Riverkeeper. And that person is John Corman. And John's going to talk to us about the Withlacoochee and Louisville River Water Trail. Um, we're doing some things on that, and he's going to talk to us about it. Did each of you get one of the, these things? Did I need one? So, with the Gucci and Little River Water Trail is kind of unusual in that it has two dozen landings, which is a good thing and a logistical thing. The good thing is there's lots and lots of places you can put in. You want to go for an hour, but it's a place you can do that. You want to go for all day paddling, you can do that. You want to go for a week, you can do that. And. Uh, the, the interesting logistical part is, especially since many of these rivers go as the uh, boundaries of counties, like the county lines, to get agreement on what are the names of these landings, and what are the addresses of the landings, we have to get multiple counties to all agree on this. Now, why do we care about the addresses? Because if somebody calls up and says, I put in so-and-so, the uh, emergency responders want to be able to look at the, the address and go there. It turns out that some of the landings, particularly um, Georgia 122, for example, west of Hay, uh, both east and west of Tejara, east on the Withlacoochee, west on the Little River, uh, those were not known to Lyons County at all as landings. So they had no official name, they had no addresses, and of course the one on the Little River is also the border of Brooks County, so you sort of get the idea. And the stuff that we've discovered on these rivers, I think, uh, I think you mentioned McIntyre Spring. There's actually this picture here. That is McIntyre Spring, which I will readily admit one thing about this is it just exposes how incredibly ignorant I am about these things. It, I did not know about this a year ago. McIntyre Spring is one of only about six second magnitude springs in the entire state of Georgia, three of them on the Lithicucci River between US 84 and the state line. This particular spring has been explored by scuba divers, several of them from Valdosta, at more than 4,000 feet back under Brooks County. So all sorts of interesting stuff that we learn on these trips. Now, the um, Georgia River Network has a list of official paddle trails. This is not an official paddle trail yet, it is on their list of developing paddle trails. The main reason it is not official is to do that, you have to have signs at each of the landings. Remember, two dozen of them. Now, even if we use inexpensive signs, uh, we still have to place them everywhere, which once again means we have to get permission from the counties or from the state. And to do it really right, we need road signs, one in each, set in each direction, which is like 260 bucks for there. And we need a sign down at the landing. So we're working on that. If any of you uh, deal with Boy Scouts, that's one avenue we're taking. It seems like building a kiosk is a great Eagle Scout project. Or if you, you know, have a club that likes something to do, or a class, that's certainly one way to do it. So there's a sketch of the water trail. There's a lot more detail in here. There's lots of things you could uh, do regarding the water trail. The simplest thing is come on some of the outings to fill the scheduling. And uh, you could help us find ways to get those signs built. So that's basically what I have to say. Any other questions? You can ask questions at any time. Like, are you going to like try to make them all fit some art design or something with the logo from the walls or just? Uh, 
uh, yes, for the well, for the road signs, uh, Georgia Department of Transportation has a standard that we must follow. Uh, yeah. So it's the three signs. The top one is going to say with the Coochie and the Lord Trail. The next one is going to say Whatnot Landing and the county name. And the third one is just an arrow for which way you're going. But at the landing, there is sort of a convention that you want something big enough that you can have a map of the water trail, mm -hmm. big enough so that you can see some detail in it, and in other words, bigger than that. And you want a map of the local area so you can see what's upstream and downstream. And you want some of the things that you see in here, like the etiquette, very important. And don't trespass, don't go, don't camp unless you know you have permission, and so forth. And of course, information about walls and if uh, companies or other organizations want to help sponsor the signs, then you know, we'll be happy to put their name on there. Oh, I forgot to mention, the Dallas Lounge Chamber of Commerce has already contributed $500 towards turning this into a fancy pamphlet like the one that you saw about the Lap Water Water Trail, uh, which, by the way, Brett Wagonhorse will talk about more towards the end of this meeting. Does that answer your question? Yeah. All right. Anything else? On to the next one.